Hey, hey, what's up, Facebook? Hi. Julie here. Oh my gosh. Julie and Lola. We should have like the Julie and Lola show, you guys. Isn't she so cute? Oh, she's so cute. Okay, now she's going to bite my wire. Anyways, hi. Happy Money Monday. We call it Money Monday, Money Monday in our team. So happy Money Monday, um, everybody. I hope you had a fabulous weekend. Happy Mother's Day to all of you moms out there. Um, I had all intentions on doing a quick live yesterday for Mother's Day, but you guys, I don't know. I haven't, uh, I know I haven't gone live recently here, but, um, last week I had both of my parents in the, uh, emergency room last Monday. So this past week, you guys has been insane, um, trying to get some answers. So, uh, I know a couple of you have been following that over on my personal page. So thank you for all of your, your prayers. Um, you guys, I don't know, as you're tuning on, can you say hello? I'm not seeing any comments. So just if you could drop a, a quick hello. I know Facebook, you guys, I can't stand it. I feel like Facebook's on like a delay when you go live. Like it just like, it's just this delay. Like I think Mark V needs to get his stuff together over on Facebook. I need to send him a little memo. But yes, yeah, so say hello to Miss Lola. You guys, seriously, can you just like look at her and just like, you could just look at her and smile. Like if you're in a bad mood, you just play with Lola. You just play with Lola. She's so cute. Okay. So this past week, my parents were in the hospital. So I did no Facebook live trainings. I did, um, if you caught my interview with Fernie on Wednesday, I did do that because I had that scheduled. Um, Fernie is a mentor of mine and literally the king of attraction marketing. So if you did not catch it, um, go back to Wednesday this past week and definitely watch it. It was an hour, but you guys, it was such great content. And I also sent an email out to my list. So if you're on my email list, you should have gotten that. And if you're not on my email list and you want to be, um, on my email list, you guys, I'm gosh, crazy up to 42,000 email subscribers. It's just nuts. It's an awesome community. I, I send an email out every week. I don't bombard you with emails because I'm way too busy for that. And so are you. Um, but if you do want to be on my email list, um, all you have to do is go to create success with julie.com and grab yourself one of my, um, freebies there. I'm also starting my own monthly membership. We have a huge waiting list for that already a couple hundred people. And all I did was my gosh, two Facebook live. So I think, uh, I'm listening guys. I'm listening. I get messages all the time asking for this. So I'm really, um, I'm proud and excited to be a part of it. It's, it's not going to just be network marketing based. Um, that's, I'm going to like teach you some really advanced strategies in there about how to build your, your about more about online marketing, attraction, marketing, and branding. So if you've been following me, um, you know, I definitely over deliver. So you definitely want to, if you want to be on that monthly, um, if you want to know when the monthly membership is going to roll out and you want to get on the list, just type list in the comment section and I'll make sure that we, uh, we get you that form so you could just fill out your email so you could be notified. Okay. So, um, Hey guys. Yes. Andrea. Wow. Cool. I'm on it. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. So as you're tuning in, please, um, say hello. Let me know where you're tuning in from. You guys look at it. She's like a baby. She's like a baby. She's She's six months. Look at, I'm like patting her like a baby. You guys, I just got back from the, the uh, doctor and you know, the baby doctor. I know I'm not pregnant. I'm not pregnant. I had an, uh, my yearly. Anyways, uh, she's like, are you done with kids? I'm like, yes, I am done. We are done. So she is our baby instead. <laughs> we are done having kids. All right. So uh, what I want to talk to you today real quick my quick tip for today, sorry, now I got fur all in my mouth, is um, how not to be the dancing monkey, okay? Um, oh, and real quick before I get into that, if you're new to who I am, let me just quickly, quickly, quickly introduce myself. I don't want to keep you guys here all day. Um, so let's see, I went through all the thank yous for all the messages about my parents, why I was not live last week with my trainings. Um, if you are new to me, drop hashtag new in the comment section. Uh, my name is Julie Burke. I am the founder of my training company called Create Success with Julie. Um, 
And what I do is I specialize, I've been in network marketing for six years. I've created seven figures in the network marketing business. And what I, I, I love to do is to help um, home-based business entrepreneurs learn how to use online marketing strategies and, and grow a brand, your own personal brand, so you could grow your business 10 times faster, you guys. Um, I know this because I've personally done it. I have done it this last 18 months since I flew into the online scene and developed three additional six-figure income streams by developing my own brand as well as transferring out of one company that I was at for five years into another and literally flew up to the top of the company within a year. Um, this month, I'm actually going for my last rank to then I hit the top of the company and people say, Julie, how are you doing that? Where you start over from scratch. You guys, I did not bring my old team over. Start from scratch. Um, from building a brand, from building a community, from understanding the importance of building relationships, and of course, overcoming some mindset stuff, as well as learning the technical, tactical strategies of how to do online marketing and attraction marketing very effectively. So if you like all of that, then you definitely want to smash that follow button because this is what I teach you guys on. I give you tips and tricks and trainings all around how to build your brand, build your audience, get more engagement, and how to grow your network marketing business or your home-based business, okay? Whether you're doing coaching like me, um, I went to six figures in coaching in six months. How did I do that? This is what I teach you, okay? So... What I want to talk to you about today, you're going to apply to your network marketing company, okay? Um, and it is how to not be a dancing monkey. I've, I call it a dancing puppet. I, I call it a dancing monkey, whatever you want to call it. And what that means is it's about bringing forward posture inside of your business. Okay, and so how do you do that? You have to have a mindset shift. It, it really is a change in your mindset. So back when I started network marketing, um, you know, it was, I was very new. It was a very new profession to me. And so I was almost like, um, getting upset if people didn't want to join or didn't see the value. Okay. This was very early on. And I learned very quickly that I could not be that way. And I started actually learning, more about marketing and sales very early on. And this is why I love teaching this to other network market marketers because when you get involved in network marketing, you don't really think about it. Like, you know, you don't want to be looked at as a salesperson. I get that, right? Like there's this icky connotation, but I'm going to tell you right now, there's a right way to do sales and there's a right way to market yourself, yourself, okay? So I learned very early on six years ago, that we're not trying to pull everybody into our thing, our gig, right? Um, in fact, the harder you chase and the harder you try, the, the more resistance you're going to get and the more icky actually that is of a feeling rather than if you're just doing the authentic sales of, of getting them to take a look and then moving them further along the you know the prospecting train or you know, looking at the video and then getting them into your company, okay? So um, there's two times where you might feel a little tempted to do the monkey dance, okay? And that is if you're feeling um, if you're feeling desperate to sponsor somebody, most people in the beginning, until they really understand the 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 foundation of what what lays down a, a strong foundation of a network marketing um you know, building your network marketing business, right? Because there's, you guys, there's a lot of aspects. There's prospecting, there's recruiting, there's active prospecting, there's passive prospecting, right? I don't have time to dive into all that right now. There's actually recruiting, then there's um, there's the whole conversation that sets in, right? There's the, the sale, the marketing piece, there's the sales piece, there's the objection piece, there's the then, okay, now I'm getting them started. Now where do I go with this, right? Do I have a duplication system? There's so many different pieces to network marketing that you have to lay down like this really good foundation, okay? So what I'm talking about is that prospecting piece. And the thing is that you don't want to do is you don't want to come off desperate. You really want to hold posture. And how do you hold posture? Well, how did I flip my script? It was 
even though this person that I really want to get inside this business, I look at them and I admire them and I say, oh, they've been successful. Just because they've been successful doesn't mean they're going to come in and blow up your business, right? They might come in and do nothing. And usually what happens is people get excited like, oh my gosh, I got this person to come in. Like this is actually, this is happening in my team right now with me where I admire these people. I, they have built enormous business and yet they're, they're thinking of making a move. And yet I remain very steady and very consistent and calm because they might come in and do absolutely nothing. Do you guys understand? And that's the stance I take and that's the posture I take. I don't get overly excited when people come in. I don't get overly desperate to bring people in. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you're giving off, um, you know, if, if you're positioning yourself as being somebody like constantly reaching out and constantly wanting to grab them into your thing and they're getting annoyed with you, they're going to move back. So this is what I do. Sometimes in the conversation, you need to have that takeaway and takeaways are super important. And I do it all the time. If someone, if I feel like one, one minute that I have to drag or I'm trying to convince somebody to come in to my business or to try the product, I'm, I'm done with them. And I just turn to them and I say, you know what? I'm having a second thought about this. And I actually do not think that this is right for you. And so right there, based off that sentence, you guys, it's, it's just, it's a, it's a psychology move. Um, it's a takeaway move. And when I do that, this is what I hear. Well, wait, 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 wait a second. You know, well, hold on. Let me, let me take another look or let me ask you this. And then they're asking more questions. You guys, it's such a simple thing to say to somebody. So in the conversation, what you're doing is you're holding posture. You're being confident. You're not coming off as being desperate. You're not coming off as being that person that's trying to get them into your thing. Um, and it works and it's super, super effective. So please, if you... If you feel like you're constantly, you guys follow up, here's another one I'm going to give you follow up. I know people say it's usually between the seventh and the 10th follow up. You guys, honestly, I don't have time to do seven to 10 follow ups. I know this is sounding awful right now, but you want to know how I built a seven figure business? This is how I don't do seven to 12 follow ups or 10 follow ups, whatever they say. I think it says seven to 12. I do three. I do three. It's like three strikes, you're out. So this is what it looks like. Um, so, hey, Sue, we were supposed to have that conversation. Or, you know what? Now I actually build through Messenger. So back then it would have been phone. So if you're doing phone, you could do phone or you could do Messenger, whatever you're utilizing. I will follow up with Sue and say, so I was. we had set that we were going to communicate last night at 8 o'clock. I didn't hear from you, right? Because now Sue already watched the videos. So I'm doing follow-up one. Okay, so Sue doesn't say anything, and now it's the next day, or maybe Sue didn't answer the phone at 8 o'clock when we had scheduled to, to talk for the follow-up, right? So now it's the next day, and I say, oh, so Sue, um, I just, you know what, really, I just want to make sure you're okay, because I haven't heard back from you, and I'm taking your word for it that you definitely wanted to talk last night at 8 o'clock, didn't hear back from you. Now I just want to, I just want to make sure you're cool, you're okay. And then so let's say Sue doesn't say anything again. I'll wait then till like day, day two uh, or day three. So it's like a three-day process. So follow up one, two, three. And I'll say, you know what, Sue? I'm going to take it that you are just not interested in what you know we're doing over here in our company or our product, what have you. I'm just going to take you off the list. Um, and no worries if you ever decide that it's something for you or if you're ever in the the if you're ever wanting to, you know, lose weight or what have you, again, I'm giving you both angles. So if it's a, if it's a product for me, it'd be like weight loss. So I'd be like, um, I would say, Hey Sue, so I'm going to take you off this list because it looks like you're not interested. If you ever decide that you want to be able to lose weight without having to diet, then just make sure you message me. All right. Like it's simple as that. Or Sue, listen, it looks like you don't want to um, add that extra income to your household this month. So I'm just going to go ahead and cross you off the list. If you ever decide that you'd like to learn and have me show you how to put an additional $1,500 to $5,000 in your pocket in a month, um, just let me know and I'll, I'll be happy to show you. Like that's it. So 
it's posture, it's takeaway. I, I'm not following up with them seven to 12 times because honestly, I'm way too busy for that, right? And so again, that goes, just goes back to you holding the confidence, you holding the posture card. You guys, is that helpful? Is, is that help? Because I don't like to see people come off as desperate as building their business or like we call a dancing puppet or a dancing monkey, whatever you want to call it. Um, don't dance around it. Just have the conversation and lead them and guide them right to the sale of getting started. Just ask them, are you ready to get started? Yes or no? It's a simple yes or no question. So um, I don't put fluff in our conversation. And here's another thing. If they say, oh, yeah, I want it, I would, yeah, sure, I'd love to check it out. Or sure, yeah, I'd love to get started. What I see people do is actually go through the, the selling process again. It's crazy. Instead of just saying, okay, here's a link. Or okay, this is what I need from you. Just go straight to the enrollment. So I hope this was helpful. Um, you know, because I, I do, uh, I do see that this is happening with a, a couple of people and I've had actually quite a few people, uh, reach out to me and I don't want you to build the business out of desperation. Okay. So just a quick tip for you today. I hope you found it helpful. Please share it out. If you did, um, if you want to get on the list for the monthly membership, just write list. And if you like this, little clip here about how to have posture. This is just like one of many I have inside of my rapid enrollment system um, course, which actually teaches you. It, it's basically a, um, a comprehensive training about how to build your network marketing business. And if you want that link, just put res, R-E-S. Um, another training I'm going to come to you probably next week because it's going on right now. You guys, this is super cool. So on Thursday afternoon, we started a group for a challenge. It's a, a seven day slim down challenge. It's a free challenge, you guys. And all we're doing is having people do one thing this entire week in this challenge. I'm not going to talk all about it right now. We started the group Thursday afternoon. We have almost 4,000 people inside this group. And what it's doing is it's drumming up excitement it's drumming up people that will start having some results because it's a very simple thing we're having them do. Um, there is a method to our madness, but what I'm going to do for our team is pop in there later this week and talk to them about something that we're going to be doing a 30 day challenge, which then they need to purchase uh, a, something from our company that will be for that 30 day challenge. You guys think about that 4,000 people and growing as of today, almost 4,000 people and growing. And then later this week, um, we're consistently adding people to this group. You guys, this challenge is like really taken off. Um, so think about if only, I don't know, 10% of those people purchase. That's still a couple thousand people, even 5%. So I'm super excited to see the results of what's going to happen. And I'll tell you what, it's drumming up excitement. It's drumming up accountability. So if you want me to, I can definitely do a training on this when I'm, I'm done with, uh, when we're done with this challenge this week. So just wanted to hop in here and, and, uh, talk a little bit about that because I think it would really help you, especially if you're in a health and wellness company, if you're in a health and wellness company, uh, this would be something extremely easy for you to do. And I have some other ideas for you too. So I'm going to leave it there. Um, if you want me to do that training, just feel free, private message me, you guys, you know that, you know where to find me, I'm always here on my page, um, and you guys just have a great day, I'm going to hop off, take my little guy to the park, and then go to another doctor's appointment, <laughs> all right, you guys have a good one, I'll talk to you soon.